A while ago I found a second-hand LED scrolling message display, but before I could get it working I connected it up backwards and released the magic smoke from the controller. So after sitting in a box for about 10 years I decided to try and get it working using an Arduino. The display is made of several modules which chain together with connections on each side. Each module has 6 5x7 LED matrices. Column data is shifted through four MC14015B dual 4-bit shift registers, which then go to some ULN2003A Darlington arrays which are connected to the columns of the display. Row select is sent through a parallel bus which goes to two UDN2580A source drivers, each controlling half of the module. After tracing out the board I found the pinout. One of the lines was not connected to anything which I assumed is used for the buzzer module, which used to be at the end of the sign. I then connected the sign to an Arduino and wrote some code to display a message on the sign. The sign works by rapidly displaying different columns, which, through persistence of vision, the eye blends together into a single image. A better way to use the display is to display rows instead of columns, as each LED is on for a large percentage of time, so the sign will appear brighter. The display is actually made to be used this way, and includes current limiting resistors on each column. Another benefit of displaying rows instead of columns is that a 3 to 8 decoder such as the 74138 can be used to cut down on microcontroller pins. The sign wasn't originally designed to be run on 5 volts. I'm not sure what the original supply voltage was, but I can assume it was greater than 8 volts due to the dropout voltage of a 5 volt regulator on the processor board. 12 volts seemed like a likely input voltage, and the sign appeared to run fine on 12 volts. I used a pair of ULN2003As to boost the signals from the Arduino and power the setup from a pair of 6 volt batteries. The sign appears significantly brighter, but I'm not sure if it's worth the extra complexity to drive it with a higher voltage. I plan on making a more permanent solution to drive the display, but that will have to be in another video. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, subscribe to be notified about future videos. It really helped me out a lot.